Hello, Fearless Gamers, and welcome to another episode of Touching Base here on Fearless Games. I'm so used to saying the podcast. Completely <laughs> messed, you messed up. up. I did. I, I messed was, up. We do this, we do this, it's not like we do this all the time, and you're already messing it up. Yeah. yeah. Look at you. Yeah. Look at yourself. I, I, just, started our, you. I just started our new year badly. Make me sick. I, I think um, you're not allowed to do this anymore. Okay. Get off the couch. Yeah. No. Go. Uh, no. We're gonna. We're gonna do. We're gonna do like regular rules. I have till the end of the day to clean out my desk. No. Fair enough. No. No. no you and need to leave the premises immediately. We'll get security and make Turn sure. Turn in you your badge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, how's everybody doing? Not badly. I've been. I'm, I'm getting over a cold. Uh, it's been super like frigid. Yeah. In New York and the general northeastern United States, if anyone's familiar. For um, um. And I got a cold. Not this past week, but the previous week. Uh, and I got over it for the most part that weekend, but then the week started and it was still super frigid. Yeah. So I couldn't recover. So I'm like taking this weekend is like finally getting that last little bit recovered. From what I was Fine. told last Wednesday, it was colder here than Alaska than it was in Alaska. Yeah, Alaska's been fine. Yeah. We um, well, they deserve some fun weather occasionally. I mean, they've been coldish, but not as cold as like the. My whole job it revolves around like actually checking the weather, especially when it's bad like this. And uh, I feel bad for the people in like Madison, Wisconsin, mm. because their high this past week was zero. <laughs> my cousins live in Madison, and my cousin just had his wedding, and most of my family got stuck there. Yeah, because they shut down all the airports in the yeah. area two weeks you can't, ago. You can't get anything in, you can't get anything out, mm -hmm. and it's, it's super cold. Yeah, so like. Yeah, uh, have fun, American Northeast. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. So, how have you been? Sick. Get away from me. <sighs> no, no, no. Lick him. Lick his face. <coughs> Lick him. Lick his face. No. 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 Um, I was as sick as Matt. Uh, That's about it. Um, nothing really going on here for that. Um, I'm getting a phone call. I'm sorry. He's got a, he's got one of those Dick Tracy watches. It's cool. Me too. It's really great and really terrible at the same time. I just ignore it. Yeah. Um, so, there's been some couple of interesting things starting off here. We've got the new White Dwarf, White Vision thingy happening now with GW. That should be mm -hmm. starting in February. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. So I think we should talk about more, that, yeah. more when it comes out, though. We'll yeah. yeah. But we'll have that going off with that. Yeah, once, once that it comes out, out we'll we'll get we'll, a report. We'll and, get an issue um, or two and then complain about it, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll, well, somebody's going to Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. You mean there you you are shocked that we're gonna be angry at something GW does? Yes. Where have you been? Haven't you checked the internet? The, what's the internet? I think it's this new mask. Mm, it's yeah, messing with the brain. It, it, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't work right. It's a little, a little too shiny. Let's, just, let's see. Let's, it's got like the little. Oh, what have you done? Ah, uh, I reboot. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna take about 10, 15 hours. He's got a very slow process. We're lucky. So, um, so, so yeah, that'll be cool. We'll, we'll yep, talk about that more later. Once yeah. we have like confirmation of the fact that it's probably crap. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll, actually we'll see what it actually, what yeah. it actually will we'll be doing. We'll, we'll see how the ad flyer and the bad hobby magazine go. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what I assume they will be. Um, what else? I don't know. Um, not much. Um, so it is a new year mm -hmm. and everything. Uh -huh. So let's discuss what have we been doing lately, hobby-wise, game-wise, yeah, and what do we want to do well, um, after that? I'll start off first because all I've been doing is playing board games, which are all on the board. Yeah, he brought them on I'm very bored. I just had a bunch of them in my car, and there's more out there. Mm -hmm. um, any of these? I don't know if they're showing. They're they're all on the camera, right? Yep. You, you should play that. all of these games. Just yep. play them. We played one. We have one video of Forbidden Desert actually yep. up. I've heard and good things terrible. about Forbidden Desert. Forbidden Desert's a lot of fun. It's also, is uh, Forgotten Island. Yes. I think Forbidden Island. Yeah. Forbidden Island. Island. Forgotten Island is, Island is the original. Yeah. yeah. Both of them are great games. That game is brutal. Uh, if you like Firefly, and if you don't like Firefly because you haven't watched it, um, you should play the board game. It is fantastic. It is basically role playing in space with ships and doing jobs and you know oh, shooting cool. people and I'll give that a shot. Yeah. The game's supposed to take around two hours, it took us six because we are slow at learning rules. Mm. And setup takes there. forever. Setup takes forever. That's my least favorite thing about certain games. Yeah. Uh, I recently played Mansions of Madness yeah. with some of the guys. Mansions of Madness is great. It's uh, based on the HP Lovecraft mythos. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's very similar to like Hero Quest. Okay. okay. Um 
And uh, basically, complained. your request is good. Well, Big your request and descent, which I want to get. The descent to is here. fantastic. I have to bring descent back over. Um, your request twenty five was supposed to come out. They're doing a Kickstarter, but then something happened to it. I don't know what. So really, I don't well, that's a shame. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it took us like an hour to set it up, and even then, I was like, I don't know if we did this right. <laughs> <laughs> no, we spent about an hour and a half setting up the game. And by the end, like, I knew I wasn't going to win, but I was still having so much fun that I just didn't care. Like, there's, like, good. a main goal to do, and instead I'm like, I'm not doing the main goal, I'm just going to fly around robbing people. Nice. Awesome. You became a pirate. Yo ho, yo ho. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. And it was wonderful. That's cool. Uh, next on my list, uh, this is an old favorite of mine from Steve Jackson, Stars The Stars Are right. right. If you can find a copy of that game, you should be playing that game. Yeah, it is good a joke kind of version of the Cthulhu Mythos where you play a cultist, and you are rearranging the stars to summon... You know, the Pastor, thing. Cthulhu. That's cool. Sh well, not Shogoth. Uh, Shogoths are in it. But it's just a fun, silly little game. It takes a lot of brain power if you're tired, so don't do it when you're tired. Mm -hmm. uh, or do it when you're tired and screw with yourself. Yeah, and it's best to play with four people. It's a four person game, definitely. You play the load? Yes. On a side note, you can play Firefly by yourself. There's a variant on the rules for single player. I'm not that sad. I yet. think you can do that with uh, Mansions of Madness. Too. Yeah. And, and then, of course, Clue, modified with DD. Yeah, which is cool. It was, actually, like it was actually a lot of fun, surprisingly. It's interesting. Of, of all the clue variants, they added like a little minor extra rule that you might want to use. Use it with like wandering monsters and you get like potions from That's them cool. to move faster and stuff. Interesting. And if you fail, you get lost in like a labyrinth. Like it's a fun little add-on to the thing and it's just more fun to say it was, you know, I don't know, Tordek the Dwarf with the blazing right, axe and right. the dragon's lair then right, right. Professor Plum cool. with the candlestick and all that. Um, it's a good change. Yeah. The, yeah, I played, I played Mansion of the Madness recently, mm -hmm. which is fun. I, um, I've been playing, like, Legendary a lot, which is the uh, Marvel Comics deck building game. Yes, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I want to do that again. I've been playing, uh, well, I played Ascension a couple times, it's a different deck building game. Mm -hmm. Ascension's uh, like the, well, no, really Dominion's the deck building game, but Ascension's yeah, pretty similar solid. To, yeah, it's pretty much love Ascension. same basic game. Um, I really want to play Descent sometime soon. Yes. Descent is a lot of fun. It's basically a hero quest, but mm -hmm. a bit more modern. Mm -hmm. um, you have it. I have it. The and problem with Descent is the box is like 30 pounds. Yeah. It's, it's a big box. It's, but it's awesome. It's full of mercy. Um, no, it's not. And it's really nice. There's no mercy in that box. I just remember the the last time we played it, you were you were running it. You were mm -hmm. like the, the and we were playing the first master. part of one of the expansions. And all of a sudden, just you went. You start. I think you started just laughing because you realized there was something that you could do that was really mean, mm -hmm. and you did it. And we were suddenly just surrounded by like giant spiders or something. No, that was the and you're just laughing as you put them down. <laughs> there was one point when I, I apologized for doing something like that. I'm like, guys, I'm really sorry, but, but this I must have happen. To. And 20 spiders go. That was me running Mansions of Madness. Yeah. Because like, there are times when like I'll, I'll look at what I can go, I'll go, I'm so sorry. But shot if. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but God. The time, the time I, I laughed was you're doing one of the scenarios where the dungeon starts collapsing around you. Yes, I hated that. That, that was, was terrible. Awesome. That was awesome, though. That was so mean. Like, oh, by the way, guys, you might want to run because you will instantly die yeah. if you stay there. The thing I liked more about Descent, <coughs> I, mean, I loved Hero Quest. Hero Quest. There was, a ton, there was a phase amongst our group where I was running Hero Quest like all the time. Mm -hmm. We were just playing Hero Quest. We came up with like a sort of ad hoc way of, of advancing your characters because mm -hmm. we just there's only so many quests you can do. <clears throat> I started like making things up. And then uh, we started playing Descent once or twice. And there's an actual like advancement system in there. Yeah. Mm. And I thought that was really cool. So I'm actually a bit more into Descent overall as a game. Yeah. But Hero Quest is always going to be well, one Hero of my Well, Hero Quest favorites. is the original. It was originally made by Games Workshop and Milton Bradley. Yeah. Like 25 years ago. It was awesome. And it's impossible to find a copy, but it is a lot of print. fun. You probably find it on like eBay, but it might it's, not be in good it's condition. A co it's a lot of money on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. It's out of print. It's been yeah. out of print for like 20 years. Yeah. It's um. It is a solid game. It's basically just Dungeons and Dragons without the role playing. Sadly. Unless you want the role playing. You, you don't really need it. With it. It's just fun dungeon crawl. It's yeah. to be a fun dungeon crawl. Yeah, but you can. You can. Yeah. I mean, you can inject role playing into anything. This is true. It's not hard. Again, that's how I felt about the Firefly game. It was just it was so immersive in the universe uh -huh. that I just felt like I was role playing. I'd like to try it. Uh, I love um, navigating around that verse. Are there any games that you want to try or are looking for? What have you been playing? Um, we completely jumped to you. Yes, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I haven't been doing much ga board gaming 
primarily because I'm usually by myself. I don't have a huge community by where I am to oh, do that stuff. By um, here. <laughs> so recently, I've been doing a lot of ho uh, model painting and okay. doing some crazy conversions. I'm working on converting a. Um, there's a Forge World librarian in this Red Scorpions veteran pack. Uh -huh. I'm converting him to be on a bike, to be That's my cool. librarian on a bike. That'd be cool. Which I discovered with a certain piece of war gear, he becomes like a mini Doom Rider. Nice, nice. There's this piece of war gear, you give it to him, he has a three up invone save. Mm -hmm. If he passes that save, you roll a d6 and a scatter die, and he blinks that distance oh, in that cool. direction. That's, that's cool. cool. And if he's in close combat, he blinks out and then piles in. Oh, that's uh, cool. Does he get a charge bonus then? No, he does oh, not. But still. Um, but I think if you combat. roll enough, I think he can actually blink out of combat. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. And he, it's pseudo Doom Rider. So I'm like Doom Rider. He'll be kind of annoying for like up against me. He'd be annoying. Oh, I he's annoying, him. especially when he has invisibility, because everybody's weapon skill one against him. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, that's why you just shoot it. Game wise, shoot it. Have guns. Shoot it. You have guns. You just don't use Small them. Small guns. They don't count. They, they um, still shoot grenades. <laughs> they're bolters. I mean, they're not great on the tabletop, but they still shoot grenades. You should be using that. <laughs> no. I've they were for a reason. Um, I brought a knife to a gunfight, I'm gonna use it. We've also, um, <laughs> video game wise, yeah. I just finished The Wonderful 101. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me anything great. about the plot, because I'm, I'm only, I'm at the point right after you get Wonder White. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, incidentally, if you've played The Wonderful 101, Wonder White is such a racist <laughs> caricature of a Japanese guy. I love his yeah. intro like, though. <laughs> it's great, don't get me wrong. But like, when he, like, the, the voice actor, they basically told him, be Japanese, <laughs> because like, you know, when when you have to when you have like a like a quick time event where you have to do one of their unite like unite yeah. hand, unite sword. Uh, his is a claw, like yeah. he has Wolverine claws. claws. So his is, you know, he'll shout it out, unite claw, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, it is so oh, good. No. Wait, I mean, it's awesome. Oh, uh, that game I was. Yeah. I love that it's a good game. game. It's fun. On the video There's... game front, I finally have tried out Guns of Icarus, which was a lot of fun, but I'm terrible at it. Never yeah, you're telling that. me about that. And, it's a um, flight simulator, right? It, okay. It's yeah. like a steampunk like game, or no? It's a steampunk game where you and your crew have an airship, and someone's right. flying the ship, and that. someone's using the guns, and people are repairing it, and you're having airship to airship combat. Yeah, I remember you really were cool. telling me about that, and I thought it'd be really cool bad. if it were more of an MMO setting. Yeah, it would be like an open world MMO. Like, we're gonna do so like much. Airship like, crews would be awesome. Yeah. No. Um, and then I've also been playing. I still play a lot of League. Mm. And I've I, been meaning to get back into League. You know what I finally I can't get into it. I this That's is fine. bad, but I actually this is yesterday. I sat down and I ended up starting to to watch like the the pro league like live stream. I'm ashamed of you. It was wonderful to watch. I'm actually ashamed. I watched of some you. like serious serious That's, gaming. that's one thing with League that I don't understand. I'll play it and I'll have fun, mm -hmm. but if I'm watching other people play, I'm bored out of my skull. Yeah, that's it. it can, it's yeah, just I don't. Yeah. Find, it's the same thing with Magic. I don't find it fun watching other people play Magic. Really? I don't find it fun watching people play League. I find only you know, like, I can have fun watching someone play a game. I but it yeah. really like certain games. I'm just like mm. sometimes with Magic, it's hard to keep up. Especially when the pros are playing and you can't quite see the cards because the resolution is too small and you have to listen to the. It's not even that. I mean, if it were you, and, if me. you were like you and, and Matt here playing, I'd be like. Oh, I love watching. I'm gonna magic. get a soda. <laughs> see, see, you're and gonna I need come to back when you're done. Spectating yeah. stuff, I get that. I, well, I'm, that's that's just it. I'm into spect. I'm I'm totally down with spectating for certain things. I love watching. Like I I love I watch a lot of let's plays. Let's on plays are great. That's I love I you know like I I love watching scary games. People people play scary games. I love play, watching people play Assassin's Creed games. Yeah. You know, I, like I I totally get the watching people play games thing. Mm -hmm. But certain games, it's like. I mean, maybe that's why they want League to be an eSport, because it's about as boring as watching football. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, with the right commentators, League is fun to, to watch, like, as an eSport. And, like, watching, like, the, like, like a five-person Maybe if you put John Tron cool. as the... As the, the John uh, Tron doesn't know what's going on. He'd be great. He'd be like Madden. Yeah. <laughs> like Madden. Oh, my God, that would be the best. <laughs> These guys are here. Oh, my God. They're just running back and forth, and that's, okay. that's just good League. Wait, wait, that's um, just good League. Um, that's what he do the whole time. What, what's the uh, the name of the company that does League? Uh, Riot. Riot. Riot Games, you need to get in touch with JonTron to be like your official <laughs> league announcer for like, tournaments. He'd just be the color guy. He, he would be the Madden of stuff. video games. It'd be, it'd be great. He would just he would just say the most random crap. That's that's just good league. That's just, just good, good league. league. That's, that's just that's, good football. 
He ate that guy, and that's, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> that's just good gaming. Let's do a replay. Like, I'm gonna circle this guy right here, pick a little smiley face out. He'd be great. He'd be fantastic. He got, he'd draw a penis every time. I know you no one watches this except for our f smallest fan base, but if any of you actually know anybody, just just say to John Tron, hey, you should, you you gotta, you should yeah. cast Lee. Tweet him. You I'm should sure he's also, on Twitter. We, also we don't gotta use have, Twitter. Well, League also has to have that guy that has either irrelevant information or gives the obvious advice. You know, if it was me, I'd use my special power on that guy so he'd die. Right, right. Actually, hey, you know, this watching, reminds uh, me of the time when I went to the supermarket and yeah. they were all out of Cheez-Its. It was a uh, very know, that, depressing That's what esports are missing because, like, they don't really have John color Man? guys. They always have, like, two guys. Like, that's what you call it. Like, the, it's called either the flavor guy or the color guy. The guy yeah. that's like, the random okay, crap. Whatever. And, like, they don't have any sports. Esports commentators are usually really good at talking about the game, and, like, they talk a little bit about that, but not enough. You need, you need, need more the guy being ridiculous. You need the guy who, when, you, when he's done talking, you go, what? Why did that have anything to do with that? What are you talking about? It's like, um... I think that would get me into watching Magic, yeah. would get me into watching League. Did you, did you guys see... Of course you've seen Dodgeball, right? Yeah. yeah. Remember the two commentators? Yeah. yeah. That guy? A bold guy. move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out yeah. for him. He like, will not be able to see now. <laughs> like, yeah. we need, we need something like that. I'd be down for. Or like yeah. that, um, I, or I, the I water boy that. dude. Water boy dude. Oh, you got it. Some the last fight on the card. You got to play with everything you got. We know. We we got to hold everything back. That's because they didn't hold anything back. We know John Tron likes League. If you go on his channel, yeah. he did a cover of like a Lady Gaga song, but for he League did. of Legends. He did. We know he likes the game. Get on it, Riot. <laughs> you, I'm sure you can but. pay him in like hot dogs and he'll be fine. <laughs> Probably. Love I know, um, really quick, I know uh, the wild card is super excited for whatever the name of the Blizzard one, I think. Here oh, yeah, 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 here's the And I am too, just hype. because he just like, I just want to play Tyrio. I'm like, no, I get that. I just want yeah. to play Rainer. And yeah. that, that's it. I don't care if the game is good. A, there's, I, I play I for a week just for that. Skins. What's this? Uh, there, it's a League style game, a MOBA. Not MOBA? MOBA. MOBA. MOBA is technically the official and official um, name for that title. But that being game. done with Blizzard characters. So Interesting. You, you can play as Diablo or Jim Raynor or uh, Kerrigan. Mm. Kerrigan. Uh, They're all the good characters are going to be pay to play. <laughs> No. Probably not. No, they're, Probably they're not. definitely running it right. Uh, uh, also, even I've beyond that, actually, I love the skins. Like, there's a Murloc Diablo skin, which is I really nice. Single skin. Go on the wiki. Yeah. Um, there's a Jim Rayner skin that's like red, white, and blue. Like, wow. Super America Jim Rayner. I would not do that to Jim yeah. Rayner. There's a Succubus Kerrigan skin. Like, it's pretty funny. Oh, goodness. oh my. Uh, that's but, good. And then the other MOBA that I think people should look into because it's ridiculous is the DC MOBA. The Crisis one. I've heard nothing but bad things about it. it doesn't look good, it looks awesome in a, the most ridiculous way. If I you just, love DC, uh, you should If play. it were Marvel, I'd be down, but I, you know me, oh, I, don't, yeah. I stopped caring about DC a long time ago. Mm. I'm slowly getting out of it. Batman still hasn't gotten me out yet, but okay. well, slowly. I joined up with Thor, though. Well, yeah, Thor's cool. Um, you should be reading Also, and the other, also Daredevil. other things Daredevil. I just Daredevil. started playing Assassin's Creed 4. So good! Which is really good, so I've been enjoying good. it so far. And Far Cry 3, which is really good. What I like about it the most is the side quests don't feel like side quests. Mm -hmm. It's more like it's more like you must go to this guy, but explore the island to gain power so you can right, right. Like in defeat the meantime, him. You may want so it's to like okay, them. so these are side quests, but they're kind of tied into the main story as right. to I'm trying yeah. to learn how to be a better fighter. Yeah, it's not yeah. quite like with Final Fantasy VII, where like. If you come across this town and like, oh, you can also go do this, but it really has nothing to do with the main plot. Yeah, like there it's was like, definitely a couple of side quests that like, didn't find. Like sort of like, VII. sort of like, wait a minute, the world's about to end, and I'm here raising chocobos. Right. right. Yeah. <coughs> hey, like, someone's there, out to protect the chocobos. There were a couple of side quests in Final Fantasy VII that I got. I went all the way through, and they were like some of the bad side quests too. Yeah. And at the end, I went, wait, what? this had nothing to do with the plot. <laughs> mm -hmm. You mother. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Why don't you play Final Fantasy VI? It's the better game. Um, I'm sorry, but I've heard uh -oh. that Kafka is not that great a villain. Yes, he is. He's a much better villain than Sephiroth. Did you just say Kafka? Kafka? That's his name. Franz Kafka is not a Final Fantasy villain. It's Kefka. Kefka. It's an E. Kafka. I'm picturing Kafka as like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm kind of putting him in like the Seymour Guado outfit. Why would you do that to him? <laughs> because f Kafka. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but, but why would you put him in like Final Fantasy X like naked clothes? <laughs> because it's funny. Um, That's not very. And you know what it is? is? You know what it is? If you have to fight Kafka in a Final Fantasy game, so he'd be in like 
He'd start out just Franz Kafka. Yeah. Like in his Franz uh -huh, Kafka uh -huh, pose. Uh -huh, uh -huh, and then like midway through the game, maybe he'd be like a little weirder, like more Final Fantasy belts and zippers or like Seymour Guado naked clothes. But his final form is a giant roach. Yes. <laughs> his final form is a giant cockroach. Or he turns I'm good with it. Well, that could be part of it too, but like... Instead of turning you into toads, he turns you into roaches. Right. Oh, I want to play that and game Ribbon now. And Ribbon will protect you from that. I want someone to play make that, that game. Yeah, some, someone make a, um, a version of Final Fantasy VI where you fight Franz Kafka, <laughs> and you have to fight him as a giant roach at the end. I will <laughs> not give you money, but I will play it on the channel. Um, one thing I've also done is, is I played the Project M, <coughs> which is Project basically... Yeah, it's basically Metroid, right? a, no, it's a, no, that's Other M. Oh, um, I don't this know is a, um, This is a mod for Smash Brothers Brawl oh. that it sped things a little up, got rid of some of the tweaks and changed it slightly like Pokemon Trainer it's no longer Pokemon Trainer it's now Bulbasaur Charmander or Squirtle that Charizard that you get to play with individually oh, yeah. they threw Roy in they changed a couple of characters to add some special costumes and mm -hmm. such and like they gave um, Peach this vampire looking outfit that kind of looks kind of frunky crazy um, they it was pretty interesting I liked it a lot I never really got into Smash I enjoy Smash it as a social game. Fun as a social game. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah, I can't gonna, see why everyone gets Smash. competitive about the, the it. The problem with competitive with Smash is it doesn't work out well because the game was not designed for it, so it's very imbalanced. It's kind of like playing 40k competitively. Yeah, it's, like, it's not really balanced. Like for I could, it too I well. could never get into. Like when we would be at Hofstra and there would be a bunch of the gamers and gamers club members in the room, they'd be like, "All right, who wants to play some Smash?" And I'd sit down, they put a controller in my hand, and all of a sudden it's no items, uh, Final Destination. <laughs> Yeah. No, you know, like Fox only. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, this isn't fun. This, you don't know how this is a character. boring, poorly balanced fighting game. Yeah. If it, it was a game where it's just like it. items are on, mm -hmm. yeah. randomized level, and you're letting me play as Kid Link and just mess with you for the whole time, then I'm not gonna win. But at least yeah. I'm gonna have, the, I'm gonna why, have fun shooting why, arrows at you why, from up, up high until you get there. That's why I always love playing Captain Falcon. Falcon Punch is not useful, but it's so much fun to just run around hitting people. I with it. Like oh, the good. best thing Punch. about about Smash Brothers, in my experience, is playing as Kid Link. Just trolling people with the bow because you just stand up here and you hit them and it just stuns them enough to like throw it off their rhythm. Mm -hmm. And then when they get mad, drinking milk. Yes. It's the best taunt in any game. Just. <laughs> and then of course they knock you off the, you know, get out yeah, of here. You need that. Uh, my only character I play in Smash is Samus. Sorry, I love her. She's great. And if you're going to goof around in the game, I'll just stand in the corner, charge up a big glass, shoot. And it'll never work. Because I mean, someone kick you before you got it off, but that was half the fun. But, but uh, just other than that, around like an idiot. Um, recently, I did see the new video posted for Eternal Crusade, which is the 40k MMO that's oh, coming out. Cool. And I it, thought it wasn't going to be an MMO anymore. No, that was Dark Millennium. This is another game. They're Wait, trying again. What? There's a there's there was two games. There was Dark Millennium, which, from my understanding, clearly the cat tubes ended. aren't giving me enough information. Pretty much so what? ended. The cat tube. Yeah. Oh. Um, that pretty much ended. But then there's another group, and I'm, it's either called Eternal Crusade or Endless Crusade. It's one of those, I think Endless it's Endless Crusade. Crusade. Be um, I think yeah. Eternal Crusade is another rumor thing about something else, but I believe it's called Endless Crusade, and it's okay. MMOing 40k. That could be cool, it all depends if on... If they pull it off, it'd yeah. be great. You know what it is? No. It's the same thing as uh, Warhammer Age of Reckoning. It could be really, really good, because Warhammer Age of Reckoning had some parts that were really, really good. It did. But they have to balance it correctly, yeah. and that's yeah. the hardest part of that universe. Uh, they have to decide, well, if the players want to play as space marines, cool, but what if they want to play as humans? How do we balance the Imperial Guard against that? You know yeah. what they could are, do? Are playing as Guard even an option? Yeah. Can I play as Tau? Can I, you know, there's a lot of things they need to consider. I think they should consider running it, account. and maybe the best way to do it as an MMO is to make it like a planet side game. So Planet Side was basically a mass multiplayer uh, FPS. It's still out there. It's free yeah. to play technically. Okay. There's three different factions in it, and each one has slightly different things. But like, you could add more factions, and basically you fight over territory. You get territories that give you resources. Well, it's gonna have to be a up. shooting game. So it's not. It's not like a straightforward RPG. It's more of a MMO FPS. But for 40k, that might be better because then if you're working as a group, mm -hmm. like making like platoons and squads of crappy Imperial Guard, and maybe you team up some space well, marines or you get space marines with you because they have the bigger classes. Right. Well, you could right. also you do something different. really cool. You could also do the different things like doing it in different classes, <coughs> like having the Ogrins be the Imperial Guard tank. 
having the well, um, right. the the veterans yeah. be the you know the special weapons group, so yeah. they have things. But to if you compete do it like the planet things. side way, then you can have like people actually purchase tanks, and if like you have that one Imperial Guard guy who worked really hard, he has enough resources to buy a Bane Blade, and he's driver. You still need seven other guys to man all the guns. And right, all that. right. Yeah, there, there's a lot of things to be considered. Yeah, for a science fiction futuristic. MMO, mm -hmm. and I think that's part of why a lot of science fiction futuristic MMOs will come out and then not do so hot. Mm, yeah. Because there's a lot to be considered. There's a lot of things that people want to do in those kinds of settings that are difficult to do in an MMO. Yeah. So if they do the it, something like boring. that might work, yeah. but at the same time, maybe not. Yeah. I hope um, it works. I hope it's nice. I hope it's fun. I'll play the hell out of it if it's fun. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna reserve all of my hype. Until we get and I'm going to spend it on other things. Yeah, like EverQuest next. EverQuest next is one thing I'm excited for too. Have I told you about EverQuest next? No. Okay, so EverQuest next. Anyone who played EverQuest, put it in the comment because you're awesome. Uh, um, second thing, if you're into MMOs, pause this video right now and go look at the EverQuest next thing. Yeah, go look at like hour. the yeah the the, the they, they, they they did like a like a like a gameplay preview kind of video. Watch it. So basically, EverQuest next is an MMO uh, in which. It's gonna it's gonna be on a, on a voxel based engine, okay. which is voxel is basically like the Minecraft. Everything is destructible. Okay. Technically made out of cubes, but actually smoother and looking nice. Mm. But that means that the, the environment's gonna be completely destructible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which they like they 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 basically they've said things that they want you to be able to do is like let's say you find a cave entrance, and you know there's something good in there. You they want you to all oh, right. Mm. Minute it off. Or maybe your clock's a minute off. No, I'm, I'm powered by the internet now. The internet lies. It does. According to the internet, I'm a sexy French model. Really? Yeah. Really? All right, enough of that. <laughs> um, but like, let's say you find this cave, mm -hmm. and you know there's something good in there. One of the things they want you to be able to do is blow up the cave entrance so nobody can come in after you and try and jack your stuff. Interesting. Uh, they want you to be able to like blow out a bridge so nobody can follow you. Hmm. Um, and in the gameplay video they showed us, that's like just things get destroyed. Like there's yeah. a big monster at one point that just like walks and its arm like bumps into some ruins and those ruins are just obliterated. Yeah, eventually they'll respawn or something. But like yeah, they have like an overall map respawn. that'll be somewhat consistent, but then they want procedurally generated like dungeons and right, underground right. and stuff. Uh, on top of that, the movement is supposed to be like more parkour style movement, more Assassin's Creed style movement. Okay. So running towards a ledge, you don't need to like worry about it. You'll just vault over it. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. And like jumping will be like a thing, and they have, they'll have like gear that lets you like hover and stuff. Um, that combined with the proposed uh, faction system mm -hmm. that they have in there. One thing I don't know if I've ever spoken to you about EverQuest. EverQuest was one of my favorite MMOs of all time because it had a faction system. Old school EverQuest. If you wanted to be a dark elf, uh, go for it. But the Wood Elves and most other good races hate you, and will, the guards will kill you on sight. Unless you happen to be particularly dedicated to be wanting to walk into the Wood Elf City. In which case, you could go around and kill orcs for a week. Mm -hmm. And I mean like 40 hours for the week. <laughs> like, full-time job, kill some orcs. And that would actually improve the, the attitude of the Wood Elves towards you, to the point where you could enter the Wood Elf City and not get attacked. Hmm. And like you're considered so, a friend of the Wood Elves. So like they did in Star Wars Galaxy, but it actually works. I don't know how it went in Star in, Wars Galaxy. In, Gal in, in Star Wars Galaxies, they had a faction system, like, but it meant nothing. Like I had a hundred in Outrider points, but every time I walked by an Outrider, they'd shoot me on sight, mm -hmm. even though I had, even though I was like the king of them. Yeah, faction wise, uh, this actually worked. They're, they, but from what they've announced, they're they're taking that concept and they're going a step further with it. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you might be walking past like a farm, and suddenly orcs will just start and they're trying to burn this farm down. And you can make a choice: you can kill the orcs and gain some factions with the humans, and maybe like that human will give you a reward or access to training and a skill that you wouldn't otherwise have had. Okay. Or you can side with the orcs and burn the farm down, hmm. and lose faction with the humans, gain faction with the orcs. And maybe the orcs will give you a specific reward or access to a class you might not have had. Hmm. Um, Interesting. Because that's how they're doing classes as well. You don't just you start with a certain class. Let's say you come in. I want to be a wizard. You start with a certain amount of faction towards the wizards, whatever. But let's say later down the line you go. I really want to learn how to use a sword. 
If you have like the right faction with the right people and can find the right trainer, you gain the fighter class. Huh. And you can basically over time gain every class in the game and gain all the skills of every class in the game to fully customize your character and basically build your own class. Interesting. However, the limiting factor there is you have to have the right faction with the right people. If you want to be a Shadow Knight, you're not going to be in good with the Paladins. Yeah. If you want to be a Paladin, you're not going to be in good with the Shadow Knights. So if you want both of those, you're going to have to put in some time to like get, change your factions over time. Mm -hmm. um, I'm super stoked about that. And it sounds like it'll be a really robust system as long as they pull it off correctly. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to reserve some of my hype for this game. I'm not pulling it off. <laughs> I'm super hyped for this game. And so what about you? What about me? What are you what interested are you in for? this year? What are you hyped for? EverQuest Next. Um, that's like the video game of, of interest to me. I'm trying to... No, I'll talk about League later. Or not at all. I'm super into League right now. That's all well, yeah, I well, about. I know. We're just asking yeah. what you're hyped for in the future, though. Besides League? We already talked about League! I know! Um, you know what? I'd really like to see what's going on with the White Wolf MMO. Is they that still a thing? Is that happening? I, I thought no that died out years ago. There was they they were. Is it in development hell basically? It's in development hell as far mm -hmm. as I know. That means uh, I would like to come out of it. Oh, but no, no, no. I'm not really hyped for anything except for getting some more time to play some mm -hmm. games. Um, I almost have time to play some Infinity. I just have to find people to play Infinity with. I've been meaning to get some Infinity stuff. Mm -hmm. I've you been teach me. Different factions. You teach me. I play with what you have. I'll consider it. What faction cool. do you have for Infinity? So uh, the same one. Eugene. <laughs> the, the, the Specifically, at the JSA. The, the, the Chinese? Y yes, they are the Asian group. <laughs> I love how you have to do this. Because it's, it's, it's China and then Japan and like all the other parts of Asia kind of combined into one government under China in their system. Right. Okay, I'll think so, of, I'll, I'll choose yeah. a different faction. Yeah, the other thing I'm I also really like the Hawk Islam. They're pretty sick. They look pretty cool. Yeah. The only awesome. other thing I'm interested in, aside from some of the games Nintendo's coming out with, is playing more War Machine because I finally got <laughs> mm -hmm. my army up to 30 points, so I can start mm -hmm. playing a little bit more decent sized games. Yeah, I, I I gotta get my War Machine stuff together. I will probably never get to 30 points. I just want to play the game on a small level for kicks. Well, 30 points is kind of like the small end. Ugh. You can do the battle box set, but the battle box set's like three models, and then it turns like really quickly. I kind of like that idea of a really tiny <laughs> game, and that's why I like Infinity. I, I have way too many models already, but you only really need to field 10. I'm okay with that. Okay. And so that seems to be a good yeah. thing here. So Fearless Gamers, what have you been playing, mm -hmm. and what are you hyped to play in the future? Let us know in the comments, and then also remember to like and subscribe and do all those good things. And check out our Facebook page. We just did a caption contest. Well, there we're gonna put up the um, the winner in a couple. And so. I posted the thing on my lunch break the other day. Yeah, because I was bored. Nice. And yeah. I come home so, for lunch because I live five minutes from work. And, and it's very um, interesting content that you get some extra stuff there. Yeah, it's fun. We have a blast. Also, again, Party. with you guys saying what you guys are playing right now, we want to know what you're playing because we want to play what you're yep. playing. Yeah, too. and if you think the game is really good, I want to mm -hmm. get it and I want to play it, mm -hmm. and maybe I want to film it unless it's a really embarrassing scenario, in which case you're not going to see it. That, that's going to happen with this soon where we're going to embarrass you with this guy. Can I play Jane? Jane's in there. Can you I play? You, oh. you, can, you, can, you can hire him. Ooh, you can hire Jane. I do want to play that though. That looks that yeah. looks pretty high. As long as he brings Vera. Uh, Vera's in there too. You have to buy her set. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is all for right now. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, fearless gamers. Take care. I'm gonna keep talking Stop. with this so you can put it at the end. No, don't do that. And... What?